As part of your treatment for prostate cancer, uh, you may be recommended a course of radiotherapy. Now radiotherapy is x-ray treatment for cancer and it works by targeting cancer cells. The side effects are much better if you divide a big dose into a number of fractions, given it daily over a number of weeks, so usually between four and seven and a half weeks. And there's a whole team of people involved in treatment, doctors, radiographers, physicists, nurses, all there to help support you and plan your journey and make it as, as easy as it can be and manage any side effects. In preparation for your treatment, there are a few things that we need you to do um, to make the treatment more effective. Um, the first thing is we need to make sure you're well hydrated, so you're drinking about two litres of fluid in a day, so be that water, squash, juice, anything that you like to drink. Try and stay away from caffeinated drinks or alcohol because all of these things can dehydrate you. In terms of your diet, what we say is eat and drink normally. Uh, the only thing is we want you to cut out any foods that make you gassy. So anything you know makes you bloated or makes you feel windy, just stay away from whilst you're on the radiotherapy treatment. Also, if you're a smoker, what we advise is to cut down the amount of cigarettes that you're having whilst you're on the radiotherapy treatment. Because the treatment is individually planned for you, um, it's based on a CT scan to help us outline where the cancer is and outline the organs that we don't want to treat. But there's some preparation that you can do in terms of managing to keep your bladder comfortably full and managing to empty your back passage. The reason that's useful is because if the bladder is comfortably full, it brings it up out of the pelvis and away from the radiation beam, so that reduces the side effects to the bladder. And the same is true for the back passage. So if we can try and keep the back passage empty, that can help us to make sure each day we're treating exactly the same to minimize side effects. The radiographers were so helpful. One of the things that you were told is you need to start practicing your pelvic exercises. They're called the Kegel pelvic exercises, um, which helps to strengthen your pelvic area, which allows you to hold your bladder during your treatment. Before your planning CT scan and before your radiotherapy treatment, what we're looking for is a comfortably full bladder and an empty bowel every day. To help empty your bowels, we ask you to use an enema. To use this, clip the top off the enema, insert it into your bottom, squeeze all the contents out, keep it squeezed and take it out of your bottom, and then you can throw it away in the bin. Um, we then ask you to have a seat in the reception area. Um, it can take up to half an hour for the enema to work. Um, once you do feel the urge to go to the toilet, we ask you to go to the toilet and empty your bowels. Don't worry, some days the enema doesn't work. Um, some days it may only just release a little bit of gas. Other days it may not work at all. After you've emptied your bowels, we normally ask you to empty your bladder at the same time. Um, we then ask you to drink 500 millilitres of water, which is either a small water bottle or four cups from the water fountain. We ask you to drink this over a duration of 10 minutes. We then ask you to wait for half an hour to allow your bladder to fill comfortably. And at that half an hour point is when you're brought into the room for the CT scan and it's exactly the same for the radiotherapy treatment. The radiographers will position you for the planning scan, which will be the same position for your radiotherapy treatment as well. They'll be taking a series of measurements and they'll also be giving you some little tattoo marks to ensure the accuracy of your radiotherapy treatment. It allows the treatment radiographers to make sure you're lying down in exactly the same position every day. After patients come and have a planning CT scan, everything goes quiet for a few weeks while the consultant and their team uh, plan the radiotherapy treatment and it's checked by the physicists. And after that, you'll then be ready to start your radiotherapy treatment.